So lately I've been showing a lot of games where I've been playing my Hydreigon Dark Ride deck. But in this game I switch it up and I'm playing uh, am I playing Ray Eels or Zek Eels? I think I'm playing Zek Eels. Maybe a Terrakion in it versus uh nope, nope, never mind. Take that back. Uh there's Rayquaza, so I'm playing Ray Eels. And I believe my opponent is playing Hydreigon Darkrai. So uh, you're still kind of stuck with seeing a Hydreigon Darkrai deck in, in, in works, but uh, from the opposite end. Alright, so I start off with the Rayquaza. Um, after Dime Mulligan, I wasn't really paying attention. And the coin flip. He starts a Deano, goes first. Yeah, I did Mulligan, because uh, he got to draw an extra card. He attaches to the Deano. Bianca's for two, I think. Yeah, he's got five in hand. No. Yeah, Bianca's for two. And has to pass. So, um, hmm. Brandon Receiver will definitely be played. Um, Level Ball will definitely be played. Uh, actually, there we go. There I start moving. <laughs> Alright, so Level Ball for Tynamo. Go ahead and get one of those guys out on the field. Go ahead and attach the fire to Rayquaza. And here we go with... Oh, and I hit a Bianca too. So it looks like I'm... Hmm. Do I... Yeah. With Ray Eels, you really want to conserve more resources, so I decide not to use my catcher in order to draw one more. I mean, I have another random receiver, so I'll have another supporter next turn. And go ahead and play the Zekrom. And that's it. So, oh, nice. Turn to Hydreigon. So it's in the active position, but that's okay. I'm sure he can get out a uh, Darkrai relatively soon. And that's very possible with that N. So my hand really wasn't all that great, so I can handle an N. Hopefully draw into something good. And not really. So that's kind of disappointing. But, I mean, at least there's some stuff to work with. Um, he's, yep, here comes a dark eye. Ultra Ball. And, um, I mean, really, he just has to have, yeah and maybe a, a dark patch and he can start hitting me and unfortunately I am nowhere near being ready to start attacking so luckily he doesn't have the dark patch so he's gotta go back to Sableye and uh, is gonna junk hunt oh no he's gonna confuse Ray and oh he misses it so I guess there wasn't much he needed from the discard pile I draw into another energy uh, that'd be more useful if I had an ultra ball so I'm gonna go ahead and attach the Evil Light to my Rayquaza, throw a Mewtwo on the bench, uh, let's see, attach a Lightning to the Eel, I'm sorry, well, the, the Rayquaza, and, huh, I catch her at the Hydreigon, because I'm going to put some damage on it, it's just going to be a matter of how much damage I can put on it, and oh, if there was a Sky Arrow in that hand, I'd be set. But, unfortunately, there's not. Um, if I did have a Sky Arrow, this is what I could do. Ultra Ball, the Lightning, and something else for an Eel. Use the Switch to get back to the Rayquaza. Um, oh, I would, I still would have had to have a Free Retreater. But if I had a Free Retreater, I could have then retreated back, um, had a fully loaded Rayquaza, and been ready to go. Uh, could have knocked out that Hydreigon nice and early. But I do have the other Catcher in my hand. So that's um still a good thing. And uh looks like I'm gonna dynamotor that one onto Mewtwo. We'll see if he plays Mewtwo or not. We'll maybe start a Mewtwo war. Um and I'm just gonna hit him for 120. Pretty much force him to have the max potion. And hopefully he doesn't. If he does, uh well, uh that's how things go sometimes. He plays a Sharon, so he's got a nice hand now of like eight, and has the dark patch. So he's got enough energy on the field that um, he can start hitting me with uh, dark eye. Now, good thing is, is I still have the catcher in hand, so as long as I have that catcher and I end into one lightning energy, I can take out his hydragon. Hopefully, he won't have a second one. If he has a second one, um, yeah, I'm pretty much screwed 
but um, if I can avoid that, we'll be all right. Um, or I could just take him out my Mewtwo, actually. Uh, I hit the Sky Arrow, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Dynamotor 1. Catcher up. The Hydreigon. And then end my hand of N. Um, play Rayquaza. Attach the Fire Energy. Now, I could have just attached uh, the Lightning to Mewtwo, but um, I don't have any Max Potion, so if my, my Rayquaza is going to go out, he might as well go out early, and I might as well take advantage of the weakness. Um, maybe that was a bad move. Maybe it'd be better to attack with Mewtwo, but with that 30 already on it, really all he needed to do was... Um, he could have rare candy Hydreigon in, you know, for another one, uh, played a Mewtwo, move some energy around, and I, I wouldn't have been in a very good position. But taking that Hydreigon out can be very, very useful. So he's going to catch her up, probably my one electric, um, because unfortunately that's what's hurting me in this game, is I haven't really been able to get out more than that one eel. Um, he puts another 30 on the eel, or I'm sorry, not the eel, the Rayquaza, and, um, uh, I'm gonna just promote one of these, one of, yeah, I'm just, oh, this is, this is not good. So I'm gonna Super Rod, Mewtwo, yeah, I've grabbed the Mewtwo, might as well be able to Dynamo her later on. And my Eel line back in. And I'm gonna probably, oh. Oh, no, that's right, I need to take out the Deano. So I can take out the Deano with the Rayquaza on the bench. And awesome, get another Tynamo into play. Uh, question is, do I heavy ball? Yeah, I, I, if hopefully I heavy ball right now. Throw out uh, N. I throw out N in the Lightning for another Tynamo. Just to make sure I can get another one into play. Retreat, uh, free retreat with Sky Arrow. And Dragon Burst to take out that Deano. Now I'm still not really doing much about the energy that he has on the field with Darkrai, but by trying to take out those Hydreigons, that's really my, uh, my, my biggest concern with this deck. Um, I can always use multiple Dragon Bursts to, I mean multiple as in like th uh, having three energy attached to a Rayquaza, uh, take out a Darkrai later on. So right now though, he's, he's just putting on a ton of damage, which um, Definitely a good play. So, let's see. Which one do I evolve? The one with damage on it. Make sure that that one's knocked out. Uh, I'm definitely going to be Junipering, so here's a matter of, do I play the energy switch now? Um, hmm. So... Ah, uh, this is an... Well, I decide just to throw it out. Uh, double eel. Unfortunately, I don't have a lightning energy in hand. Uh, if I d oh well, he has an Eevee light anyway, so it really wouldn't have mattered. Um, hmm. What to attach my fire to? Both Rayquazas already have fire, so looks like I go with Zekrom. We're going to Dynamotor 1. Oh, interesting. I am going to make a sacrifice play by putting on, uh, was it 100 on him? Uh, with my Zekrom instead of a Rayquaza, which ensures that I won't lose two prizes. And very interesting. Um, definitely not the play that I saw myself doing, but... Uh, unless he has the catcher to bring up a, an eel, not a bad idea. And I can still knock him out next turn. Uh, I've got the catcher in hand if he wants to run away. Um, I can dragon burst next turn with two. Um, how, unless he takes out an eel. If he takes out an eel, I'm not in a good position because I don't have lightning in hand. And I don't have uh, a supporter in hand. Although if he takes out an eel, I could just always promote the Zekrom again and do another 100 to him. So, 
hmm, he's got kind of an interesting predicament, too. Does he keep on... Huh. Well, let's see. I've got... The, that Rayquaza has like 120 or 130 on him. My other one has 80. Probably his best move would just be to take out the Zekrom and put 30 more on the Rayquaza that has all the extra damage. Uh, maybe? Or maybe just put it on the eel? Alright, so here he catches up. Yep, healthy eel. So, takes out that electric, and let's see where he puts the 30. Um, yep, he's going to put them on the Rayquaza, which puts him within sniping range next turn. So, I go ahead and promote that Rayquaza. Uh, pull another fire energy. I mean, come on, why am I pulling fire? Um, at this point, go ahead and attach the fire to Mewtwo, I suppose. Um, I need a level ball for another Dynamo. And then I can Dynamotor on something. Um, yeah, so there's another Dynamo. Uh, I mean, I'll just take him out with my Zekrom. That's, that's not that big a deal. Um... Yeah, it's just frustrating that to be able to use that that particular Rayquaza anymore before he does get taken out. And yeah, I'm just not in a really good position. We're tied on prizes right now, and even though I've taken out his Hydreigon, I uh, he's just been able to put too much damage on the board too fast. His Dark Eyes are loaded up, ready to go. He's got a Sableye to get back whatever he may want. And, uh, yeah, I just, oh, too much damage. I mean, honest, yeah, he could just really, next turn, bring up my, the other damage, uh, Rayquaza on the bench, and Night Spear for four prizes. Um, it would knock out the active, and it would knock out the one on the bench, too. So, I'm kind of slowly realizing all this, so I do apologize for the lag, um, I've considered going back and editing and, and, you know, like making this portion a little faster, but, uh, honestly, that, that's a lot of, it's a lot of a pain, and I'm sure it's not that big of a deal for you guys just to watch this. Um, I don't know really what I'm doing here. I'm, I, if I'm retreating, I need to retreat back to Zekrom and just take the, oh, no, it was attaching the fire energy. So, um, retreat back to Zekrom. I need to go ahead and Dynamotor just to utilize that Dynamotor. And the question is, where do I utilize it to? Mewtwo? Um, that Rayquaza? And hope he doesn't have the catcher. Uh, I end up putting it on Mewtwo. Um, yeah, I'm just really not sure what else to do. So I end up uh, Bolt Striking, putting more damage on myself, but taking out the Darkrai, and... Yeah, um, unless I hit another fire energy, which I don't really know I could do. I think I only run five, and four are on the field. Um, oh, and there's a Mewtwo. So, ouch. Um, well, no, I still have the Dynamotor. I'd have the Dynamotor twice, and attach for the turn, and play the catcher, and to take out the Mewtwo. Actually... And that may be poss possible. So he hits my Zekrom, and he's going to be able to take out the Rayquaza as well. So three prizes in one shot. Um, now what I need to do is promote my... Uh, yeah, actually, this is a good question. Um, if, I, if I see it right, I can double Dynamotor and attach for turn, assuming that I draw into something. Um... I don't know why I chose that one. That one's not being knocked out. Uh, the other Rayquaza. Um, yeah, no, don't go for the Mewtwo. You have to Dynamotor onto the Mewtwo. My only hope is being able to take out that Mewtwo for the game, which I'm going to need to put three more energy onto my Mewtwo and use that catcher. So um, it comes down to if I 
first promote uh, something that can utilize that Sky Arrow retreat, and um, then second, if I can top a supporter. So I don't, um, or the energy, which that is pretty much game. I can ugh. Um, so there's three more minutes left, and this is probably three more minutes of me contemplating what to do. So basically, um, he's hitting me for 90. He, the only thing on the bench right now that can take a hit of 90 is my Mewtwo. But he's got his Mewtwo, so if I promote my Mewtwo, uh, he can easily take that out. That's, that's not a big deal for him. Um, especially with the damage already on it. Am I Ultra Balling? Why am I Ultra Balling? Um... Am I trying to see if there's anything healthier? Oh, and the lightning was the next card. Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I decided to go for another Mewtwo. But he's got a hand, I just realized, he's got a hand of three, six, ten cards. Uh, yeah, the, there's, I don't think anything I can really do. I, I can thin out the deck, but not hitting the energy and not hitting the supporter. Uh, so many options on ways to come back from this, and unfortunately my deck just, uh, probability was not on my side today. So, go ahead and Dynamotor, um... Looks like to my damage Mewtwo, because I, uh, well, mm. Yeah, there, there's really nothing I can do, because even if I just attack him with that Mewtwo, uh, tuh. Yeah. And there's some supporters left. That's a frustrating part, is it? There's plenty of supporters left now. An N wouldn't really have helped me out. An N of two. Um, but I would have burned things. So, uh, I, I went ahead and evolved the active since I have the switch in hand. Um, go ahead and Dynamotor, pro I'm guessing probably to my bench Mewtwo, and just hope that he doesn't have the, the, the energy. Out of a 10 card hand, he doesn't have energy. Um, that would be a shocker. But, uh, oh well, this was a pretty good game. And, uh, it's still a really close game. And hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'm going to X-Ball him after, after Resistance. I only hit him for 80. And we'll just see if he has the energy. Yep, there he goes in the corner. Good game. Which means, show me the energy. Any minute now. We've only got 30 seconds left in the game. Oh, he asked why I didn't promote the one with full health. Um, I said it really didn't matter. Uh or I'm going to say that it really didn't matter, because, I mean, it just would have, uh, with a 10-card hand, he had the catcher. You know he did. Um, so, anyways, uh, awesome game. Good job for making it close, and stay tuned for more battle videos.